What's going on everyone? Austin John Please here and today I'm going to be going over how you could get yourself some unique post-game clothing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. <laughs> I would have made this video sooner, except sometimes when I make videos like this, people leave a comment down below like, it didn't work for me with absolutely no additional context and I'm not able to help them any further. So the reason that I've been doing multiple playthroughs is I try to do the least amount of things possible to see what's actually needed for certain flags to be triggered in this game. And this is one of those really weird ones. There's some weirdness going on on what exactly is needed, and it's kind of a long list of things. So there's an event that requires these two members of Team Star to be available in the foyer of the school in plain clothing. That's that's the DJ and the um the big crazy warrior Mad Max looking one. In this game up here, I did the post game stuff that requires going around to the different classrooms and seeing all the post game events going on. I also did the Swords of Ruin, I caught Terrapagos, I caught the Loyal Three. Pretty much most post game things are done in this game, but I didn't do classes. And in this game down here, I did a couple of the classes. I did what? I did biology, math, History, language, that's it. I can't tell you exactly what's going on as far as what classes have to be done, but some classes have to be done. I know that I did a priority about the Of Ruin classes. What is that? History? And I did priority on the one that gets me the Galarian Meowth. So the Swords of Ruin are not required. None of the post-game legendary Pokemon are required. But looking at this screen here and then going around and following Penny, and most of all, it all ends with getting access to Penny's dorm. Once you get access to Penny's dorm, this event can begin. It may also require you doing some classes. Cause, cause this one didn't do classes and I don't have the option. Let's go ahead and speak to these two and see how well they're conforming to society. That's right, I forgot we're not wearing our usual outfits today. Now to get to this point, I'm pretty sure you have to complete the Ace Academy tournament. And I didn't do any of the extra dialogue as far as the nurse or the principal or things like that or Arvin's post-game dialogue. All I did was focus on the Penny dialogues and now we're here. They're talking about the specific subjects that they're having trouble in. I heard from Penny that your grades are pretty decent. I bet even Ortega and the others would perk their ears up if you dropped by to teach them. Okay, so this definitely makes sense on why you actually have to pass some of these classes. I don't know if there's a certain amount, if it's three classes or what exactly. Maybe future Austin has a little bit more context and could tell us. It looks like we have to speak to them again. Are you free right now to help us with some tutoring? Yes. Yeah, I did not recognize them in normal clothing. So where's Atticus? Ortega isn't really happy about being tutored, and I'm not really happy about his haircut. <laughs> I think it's funny that she's so tall that half of her face is cropped off. The game now says I have to go find Mila. Is she just gonna be one of these big exclamation marks and tell me exactly where she is? Yep, sure is. She's uh, pretty easy to spot with that hair. Although she looks very different without the makeup and the clothing. Yeah, I would have no idea. Oh my God. Huh, Mila was admiring the veggies. Leave the music to me. I'll keep a steady stream of lo-fi chill beats playing for you. I love lo-fi chill hop beats to study slash relax too. Okay, we need to speak to our Tego over here. Uh, let's see how it's going. There's actually an exercise here. Mama Mousehold's eyes glittered with tears. It was clear from the letter Papa Mousehold had left. She would never get to see him again, toying with my feelings right to the end. You really are a terrible thing. So this guy, who's like amazing engineer, has trouble with the context of what this character in the story means by calling someone terrible. Wow, this is this is actually bringing me back to like people I knew who went to Votech. Oh, uh, Atticus still talks like this. And we get the modified uniform A and B and Team Star sunglasses, gloves, heels, helmet, and the Team Star case. Oh, and the Asta La Vie Star emote. So what does the modified uniform look like? It's like what the, the Team Star kids in school are wearing. Okay, and what's the B? Oh, it's with long pants. You know what? I don't hate this. For me, it's important that like, you can still see your gloves and your socks and stuff like that. You know, all of the personality that you can show. What do the Team Star heels look like? Team Star gloves, they're just kind of silver. I match the shirt. The Team Star helmet, oh, I can't wear it with the way my hair is styled, so it looks like I'm not wearing it. And the Team Star case, let's take a look at what that looks like. Oh, it's like graffiti at the top and bottom. That's neat. 
that's how I decide what what cases I'm actually gonna be wearing. What does the uh, the pause screen look like? And considering this is the most post-game event that you could possibly do right now, it's the style that we're going to be rocking. All of that, and the entire 15 minutes that you're going to get experience talking to them, is just to get Atticus to show up here at the auction house at Porto, at Porto Maranada. Come one, come all, special garments await thee. Oh ho, why if it's not Austin John? I must thank thee for thine aid during our recent study session. Twas truly of great assistance. I see I've piqued thine interest. Tis clear thou hast taken a keen eye for quality. You see, I, Atticus, has a dream of granted to me inspiration for a range of original apparel. I created these garments, then journeyed here to sell them, with the marketeer's permission, of course. The goods at this fine market are peddled via auction, and thou mayest well already know, therefore, whosoever craves my wares must first triumph in a battle of bargaining. Okay, and that's that's all the voice you guys are gonna get. If this auction bit follows the same formula that all of the rest of the auction house stuff did before the DLC, then there are some NPCs who are just gonna pay more for stuff, such as the older man with the mustache and pink shirt with the darker pink square outlines, and the older woman with a puffy gray hair, light blue top. They have the highest multiplier that they're willing to pay, 1.8, that's their budget rate, according to Cerebi. Yeah, you just gotta, gotta keep going. 225,000. Oh, here we go. Here's the ball guy helmet. And of course, it's just my luck that I get the old guy. The old guys will, are always willing to pay the most. They're willing to pay a multiplier of 1.8 on their budget. We finally got it with 345, $350,000. That was a pricey one. I hope, I hope you did your, your item, your item printer a lot. The replica leader bag. Bro, and I get him again, that's just not my luck. Oh, okay, it, it goes higher. Tree fitty. Okay. And now I get the old woman with the puffy gray hair. She's just as much of a baller as the old guy. $365,000 for this piece of clothing. The replica expansion suit helmet. Based on the NPCs, you can kind of guess how much you're going to be spending in that rough about ballpark. The replica dragon gloves, which I accidentally did not bid on when I first started. And I have the very rich old woman again, so I'm going to be looking at about $350,000. And what did we land at? $350,000. So you're going to be spending as little as 1.76 mil and as much as 2.8 mil, depending on the people that you're going to be bidding up against for all of these different items. Are you done? Oh, there's another one. And of course, I'm bidding against Fire Island Daddy over here. A wonderful achievement. I truly have no words to express my gratitude. Why? Because you just made five million dollars on your clothing. And you got the glow stick dance emote from Atticus. Cool. I bid thee farewell. Here's the replica Aether Shoes from Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. The replica Dragon Gloves, which are his. Honestly, don't really mind them. Here's the replica Leader Bag. And I can't wear a lot of these with my current haircut, so I have to go cut my hair. Cool. Here's the replica Expansion Suit Helmet, which is pretty ridiculous looking. The replica Aqua Suit Helmet. Okay, I don't remember Team Aqua having helmets like that, but all right. Oh. This is the suit that you wore when you were going down for a Kyogre in Oris in the Cave of Origin. That's it. The Magma Suit Helmet. The Ball Guy Helmet. Oh, on the back, yeah, there's there's the Ball Guy. And, and you have this little tiny novelty cap on top. The Replica Ultra Glasses. Those are something. Yeah, I think the most really notable part of this is gonna definitely be the, uh, the ball guy helmet. Unfortunately, it's on the back and it's not like you get to wear a giant ball guy mascot head, so that's unfortunate. There you go, there are all of the new post-game outfit articles of clothing that you can get, and I don't really like any of them. Honestly, I think the modified uniform is pretty much the coolest part of all that, and it was free. But hey, if you got the money and you're in it for the completionist's sake, there you go. What was that? Five, five million dollars and you get to possibly get this helmet and some other stuff that you might wear one day for some reason. Great, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining like I got the charm. Stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm. 
felt from the sky Guess I'm the chosen one And if you need to know how Check out Austin John Champion flow, flow Yeah, I got that Champion flow, flow